Sir's death highlights the contributions working dogs bring to law enforcement, as well as the bond they share with their handlers. CBS 8's Shannon Handy saw that firsthand today in Carlsbad, where the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives held a special training for its canine teams. I'm here at Daybreak Church where 16 canines from around the country are taking part in a three day training. The scenarios are designed to be as realistic as the real things. It's a terrifying ordeal no one wants to see happen. You know Yet one these dogs train for every day. See? The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives invited us along to watch how their canine teams prepare for a mass shooting. The dogs you're seeing are known as explosive detection canines capable of detecting 19,000 different explosive compounds. Over. They respond to scenes with the goal of ensuring they're clear of weapons, bombs, or other hazardous materials. That way, any other first responders can come in and deal with the aftermath of that event. Stephen Carrico is the only ATF special agent canine handler based in San Diego. This is his dog Barney, a three and a half year old yellow lab. Together, they're one of 119 ATF explosive detection canine teams nationwide. All of the dogs used are labs who spend months training before going out into the field. When requested, they work with different law enforcement agencies who either don't have these same tools or are in need of more. In my case, I assist uh, San Diego Sheriff's Office, Carlsbad PD, Escondido. These dogs don't just respond to high profile events, but all types of instances. For example, they're sometimes called to retrieve a gun thrown out of a vehicle or check out a school campus following a bomb threat. Oftentimes when something is found, such as a firearm or ammunition, ATF can then use that evidence to track down a suspect or link one incident to another. They can connect that shooting to that gun and perhaps to that person. In today's scenario, these canines were tasked with clearing the scene of a shooting at a church. Firearms and scents were placed around the Daybreak campus. When discovered, the dogs are rewarded with food. With the food, um, they have to be trained every single day in order to get that reward. So for us, it's a 365 day a year job. A job that's not only critical, but fulfilling because for these handlers, canines like Barney aren't just friendly colleagues. They live and train with them, becoming a part of their family for their entire career. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.